For statement two, this is by our angle addition postulate. And in fact, that's the reason for statement three as well. So I'm going to erase my three. And two will have two statements. The reason for both is the angle addition postulate. OK. Now what can we do? We want to make sure that EBA equals DBC. Well, I can do substitution. Since measure of angle 1 equals the measure of angle 3, then I can say that the measure of angle DBC actually equals the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3. And that was because I substituted the measure of angle 3 in for the measure of angle 1. Now, I have EBA equal to 2 plus 3 and DBC equal to 2 plus 3. So I can say that the two angles have a measure that is equal to one another. And that is by the transitive property of equality. You could have, for that reason, also put substitution. Now let's go back up. This is what we were trying to prove. So that is our proof. Four steps. I know that one was tricky, but here's one for you to try on your own. So do this problem in your notes. Bring it to class tomorrow and we'll talk about it first thing. In the diagram that you're given below, I want you to justify that the length of AC is equal to the length of BD. Try this, work it out if you can, at least come with some really good ideas to class tomorrow and we'll, we will work it through.